Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make benil, which is actually roast pork with arroz con gandules. Um, it's actually a Spanish recipe that we um, do like on special occasions and stuff like that. Very delicious and we're actually going to get into the details of that. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Belinda and I want to thank you for um, checking out our YouTube channel which we're going to be bringing you a lot of nice content on how to make money, how to create wealth, um, buy, fix, and flip properties, which will teach you renovations and all kinds of nice um, videos that we are going to be posting um, to bring you a lot of exciting things, especially how to make money and how to save money. Um, the other thing is um, when you buy a roast pork, um, I always have, have a habit of smelling my meats to make sure that they are nice and clean and they're not old because here in Florida there was one store that was actually caught um, dipping their meat in Clorox because the meat was expired and it was old and it had that very bad smell so they was actually washing it in Clorox to kind of kill that smell so it actually became a habit of mine to smell my meats before I actually uh, cook them. I also wash them very thorough and especially when cooking roast pork I definitely use uh, a whole lemon and I wash my pork completely down with lemon. This way it doesn't get nobody sick. If you are allergic to pork or some, for some reason it doesn't agree with you, it doesn't affect your stomach as bad if you actually clean your, your pork with, uh, with lemon. So here we have the roast pork um, and if you've seen on my other videos, the seasoning that's already pre-made, which we leave in the refrigerator, so that way we can actually season our um, our meats with. Is actually what I seasoned it. I actually washed the pork the pork out already. I cleaned it out with um, lemon, and I pre-seasoned it and left it overnight in the refrigerator. Now I'm taking it back out, and I'm actually going to pre-season it again because it definitely sucks up all the juice and the flavor. It soaks into it into the meat so I'm actually seasoning it again and of course for this you got to get your hands dirty so make sure if you have any jewelry you remove them and then this way you can actually season the pork very well so I usually like to rub it in with my hands and definitely I do cuts in the meat so that it can soak in between. Yeah. So that way you can get all the seasoning in between the cuts. And we add a little bit of um, adobo on top. And the one question that I get is, how do I always get my top piece, which is the skin very crunchy? It's because you need to turn it around and leave this side up. And I season this part here with adobo and then um, and a little bit of sazon, a little pack of sazon to actually season it and now your pork is ready to cook. You can actually cook it um, at 350 degrees for like about three hours and once you cook it in the oven for like three hours you will know if it's ready because then you can slowly slowly um, see the skin tend to get crispy and I will show you definitely once the pork is done what it will look like but for now we're going to put this in the oven and we're going to get into making the arroz con gandules. So now these are all the ingredients that you are going to need to make your arroz con gandules. You're definitely going to need adobo, salt, garlic, gandules, tomato sauce, this is sofrito, which is cilantro, um, onions, pepper, and garlic all grinded together. One quarter cup of oil, two pack of sazones, and a chicken cube. The other thing is you're going to need your rice, which I'm actually cooking um, seven cups of rice. And I have it soaking in water because we pre-wash all our rice to get all that starch out of it. Um, I'm definitely letting it set and I'm going to be re-rinsing it and, and washing it again. So now 
Let's get started in making the rice. Three. Okay, so here we are now ready to make our arroz con gandules. And the main thing to make the rice come out good is the kind of pot that we use. This is actually like a steel pot. Normally you do find them in Spanish grocery stores. They're not expensive. You can find like, three different sizes for like 25 bucks. Um, the bigger, the more expensive it actually um, gets. So we're going to start with putting our oil, which is a quarter cup. We're gonna add the sofrito. And stir it around. We're gonna add our gandules. We're gonna stir fry everything together. The sazon, which is actually two packs. And I like sprinkling it all around. I just feel it's fair that all the gandules get a little share of the sazon. And there you go. The chicken cube. which I usually take it and break it up in very small pieces. We're gonna add garlic. And garlic you could sprinkle on there um, where you feel is appropriate. A very light pinch of um, salt. Tomato sauce, which we usually put on eat. Like maybe a little bit, less than half. Adobo. Adobo, I would say like maybe three tablespoons. And um, then we're going to mix everything. So I got everything on high heat right now. It's going to be stir frying together. Sauteing. Now normally when you do make rice, normally you could put water in there and let it boil, but I actually do mine's a little bit different. I actually add all the pre-seasonings together, then I add the rice. Which already has been washed and you're going to drop your temperature to four on your stove which is like a low medium heat low in between low to medium heat and it actually cooks better this way um, Now I'm gonna actually add the water to it and they will all mix. It's all gonna mix nice. Gonna add like two cups of water. And then I'll test it and measure it to make sure that it is the proper amount, which is going to need a little bit more because we got more rice than we have water. So we're going to add maybe like another cup. Let's test it again. And you're gonna cook it on low heat 
Normally, um, when you're making Spanish rice, everybody likes to cook the water boiling and on high heat and let the rice uh, eventually cook. But I put everything in, put it on low heat, and let it cook, and it comes out so delicious. The only way, that's how I test to see if I have more than enough water in my rice, is to make sure that my spoon stand, which we're perfectly fine. So now what I'll do is I'm going to cover it up and just let it cook slowly. And when it's done, you will definitely see the final results. And just cover it up and leave it there for like about a good, I would say maybe 25, 30 minutes, but definitely you have to check on it like every 10 to 15 minutes to make sure your rice doesn't get burned. And make sure that you stir it in the process of that 25 to 30 minutes so that, that way your rice cooks evenly throughout the pot. Okay, let's take a peek and see how my rice is coming out. Uh, uh, uh. Delicious. Make sure you stir it from the bottom to the top. That's how we move our rice to make sure we get everything. But it's perfect. And that's pretty much it. Now that we stirred it, now we're going to let it sit again for another 10, 15 minutes and come back and stir it again to make sure that it's fully cooked. So we're finally back. Our rice is completely done. Um, I made fried plantains and put mayo ketchup on it. Keep in mind, you can use whatever kind of sauce you like or dressing, or you don't have to use any dressing at all. You can use garlic butter or anything like that. I have a little side salad here to go with my entree, which is um, lettuce and tomato with um, wonton strips. And of course, this is what your roast pork is supposed to be looking like when it's ready. Nice and crispy. You hear that skin? That is like the pipe, the part that everybody fights for. So we're gonna actually um, slice it and and show you how nice, hold on, how nice and juicy it is. Very tender. And as you notice. we're gonna cut so actually it looks like white meat once it's cooked from the inside you know from the inside out we try to eliminate all the fat and just eat the nice tender pieces and that is it. I hope you can enjoy this recipe and definitely try it out in your home. If you have any uh, questions, you can definitely uh, comment below and I will definitely answer them. Or you can email me at creatorlifestylenow at gmail.com and definitely I will respond to any emails that you do send. Another thing that I was doing while, of course, everything was baking, I was decorating a cake which I've made. I haven't made a video on it, but if you guys want to know how to make the cake, I would definitely do a video. This is an almond cake um, that I made for my daughter. So it's actually um, pre-decorated. I do have pictures. I can do a video on it, but if you're interested, just let me know and I'll definitely will do the video on it as well. Well, I'm excited and glad that you guys are here and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will be bringing you amazing videos and hopefully some that you can implement in your in your life and let's keep in touch and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks for coming. Bye now.